All right. Uh, let's continue here. We we are now learning this beautiful sikh of the Rebbe from Parshas uh, Akev uh, that the Rebbe said in Tavshin Nunal of 1991. And the Rebbe is telling us to prepare for the month of Elul. Back then, Parshat Akev came out on the, uh, the last Shabbat in the month of uh, of. And that was the preceding the month of Elul. So we was talking about the month of Elul. And this year, it doesn't come out exactly that way. It comes out really one week before. But the, the message is still the message. Elul is a very important message. It's the, it's the month. And the, 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 it contains a very important message. It's the month where we prepare for serving God in the way uh, of, um, of a people, of God's people. Uh, we, we make God into a king in the month of uh, Tishrei and Rosh Hashanah. So we're coronating God. So the month of Elul is prepared for coronating God. Why does God want to be a king? Because he wants us to be his servants, right? His subjects. <clears throat> so in order to do that, he wants us to have willing subjects, subjects that really want him to be a king. So he says, according to this, now we can understand. One second. Alpianal, according to everything we said before, now we can understand the whole idea of what sort of reckoning are we supposed to make in the month of Elul. Remember, that was the question. The month of Elul is a month of inventory, self-inspection and introspection. Are we really serving God the way we're supposed to be? So what are the criteria? What are we supposed to look for? How do we know if we're doing good? What are we supposed to do? So the Rebbe said, now it says, the, the, the way we're supposed to serve God is like this. I am to my beloved and my beloved is to me. Morkov, there is here three things. First of all, the service of Ani Ladodi, that we have to give ourselves over to our beloved. In other words, we have to love God and realize that he loves us infinitely more. It's creating us, providing for us, giving us life, creating the whole world. So God really loves us. So God is our beloved. So we have to give ourselves, at least give him back a little bit of what we owe him. Ani Ladodi. Think about how great God is. Think about how wonderful God is. Think about if God is. <clears throat> right? Think, is it really true or not? You know, you have to feel this yourself, not just because I said it or it says it in a book. The thing that a person has to feel himself. I am really being created by God, or at least believe it himself. That's step number one, to go up to the creator. Number two, do di li, to see how the creator is coming down to me. And then the creator also gives me power, more power. That's two things. What the third thing? The, the, the sentence says, I am, this, this sentence was said by <clears throat> King Solomon in the book of the Song of Songs. I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. First of all, we give ourselves up to God. And second of all, God gives us more power and more inspiration to serve him. That's two things. I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. What's the third thing? Joining both of them together. That's how they are. One word. Elul. In one month. Elul. Aniladodi, the main thing of I am to my beloved. This means the service of man in purifying the lower world, his body, from below to above. And so we just finished learning, right, in the, in the Mimer, the second blessing, Hashma, from easy to more difficult. Like what like Rabbi said, when a child learns Torah, you start them up very easy. Hagam, even though she said maybe Adam, even though this brings the person to the level of Dodi, the revelation of my beloved is re revealed to me. The Rakafish who Mugbal, but it's according to how it is limited, according to the our service from below. But when, for instance, when God took us out of Egypt, that was He did it on His own. It was unlimited. He revealed the Torah unlimited. But if God reacts to what we do, then it's limited. He only reacts according to what we do. 
אבל יש בכל מילה שזה בו על ידי עבודת עצמו וחודר בו בפנימיוס. This can permeate a person internally. Right? When a person does it on himself, he does the work himself, so it's more meaningful. Right? And we see what happened. The Jew, God did everything, took the Jews out of Egypt, gave them the Torah, he did all these amazing miracles for them, and so 40 days later, they worshiped the golden calf because they didn't internalize it. Dodi Li, the second aspect of serving God, which is God coming to me, Nifal, this is caused al yadei avodat a Yehudi by means of the service of a Jew in the same way. What does it mean? Serving God in a way which is not from below to above. It's like jumping over all the problems. B'derech hamshacha milamay lamat. Al yadei gilei anashama shalom. The Jew says, hey, I'm a Jew. <coughs> and that's it. Jumps out of all of his problems and his questions. That it's a portion of a God of, of God from above. True. If a person serves God in such a way that he's always jumping over his problems, <coughs> ignoring them and thinking this is only what God wants, so it doesn't really become part of his personality. He can A lot of times he won't be able to do things in a pleasant way, in a normal way. <clears throat> because the person is always saying, no, I'm a Jew, this is what a Jew does. But on the other hand, if a person is just always jumping over his problems, so that the feeling of godliness that he has is, is much higher. He's not, it doesn't come from him. This comes directly from God. He's throwing himself away. Then there's a, big, a bigger revelation of Dodi, <clears throat> of the Creator, from Giloy of Dodi and the Ani. And the Shlem was a call, <clears throat> the completion of everything is, so two ways of serving God. One way is from below to above, being normal, serving God. Another way is just jumping over all the problems, thinking about God all the time, and you know, serving God in an above normal way, above normal way. But that's also has its 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 disadvantages that it's not really you that's doing it. It's not really you, you know. It's, it's the Jew that's doing it. That you're doing because you're a Jew. But what about you yourself? You have a personality. What about that? It says that. Okay, so I'll do it for my personality. It says then the the connection to God is not so great. Then the revelation of God. What's the what's the ultimate the ideal way of serving God? Kasher yeshno achibur when they both of them are joined together. Ani ladodi and dodi li. Together, Shadargas Alokus, the level of godliness, which is above Ani, which is above yourself, namely the Metsios Adam Lamata, a person how he is below, Midgalit Bepinimiot, it becomes actually absorbed in your personality, in your character. You have both things together. And one way we said, jumping over everything, I'm a Jew. So you sort of wipe out your personality. And your personality is God wants you to use it in the proper way. On the other hand, if you only do things from below from your personality, so your connection to God, your inspiration is sometimes lacking. The ideal is that you're supposed to have this inspiration. To God, I am a Jew. Nothing in the world can stop me. Together with, I'm also a person. Right? I'm also a person. I have my personality. Right, I can do things in a pleasant way, and, and so therefore, this godliness has to be all together with your personality. Begidriat tachton, ad until they become one thing. That you are a Jew and you're also in the world. The Rebbe, there's people that wrote to the Rebbe letters and said, "I'm, a, I'm a professor in mathematics and I'm also a religious Jew," and the Rebbe said, "Before I answer your question or I I, uh, I respond to your letter." The, the content of the letter, I would just like to make a small uh, comment that what you wrote in the beginning is not correct. That, that you are a, uh, a professor in mathematics and that you're a religious Jew. First of all, you're a religious Jew. And then you're also a professor in mathematics. And this caught on. This caught on. A lot of times it caught on. All you did by means of... <clears throat> because it's not saying that... The, Forget about what, you, what do I care if you're a professor in mathematics. The Rebbe didn't say that. Exactly the opposite. It's a wonderful thing 
that you're a professor in mathematics. It's a very valuable thing and a very, very praiseworthy thing. But bringing a Jew is more praiseworthy, right? So one doesn't eliminate the other one. It's just which is the most important. The most important is that you're a Jew, but you don't leave out the fact that you're a, that you're a professor in, ma in mathematics. It's a tremendously important thing, right? So mo the most important thing is that you're a professor in mathematics, but even more important than that is that you're a Jew. By means of the revelation of God's essence, which is above <coughs> any upper or lower, this is what's called the essence of God. The essence of God. There's what we call the creator and the creation, and then we have something that joins all of them together, the reason for creation. Why God wants to be revealed in the creation. That the person's ani, his self, and reveals the goodness of God and the power of God and the joy of God and the the, 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 the wonder of God. It's revealed here in the person's personality. Like we said before, that the whole revelation of this, I, my beloved, is to me, the revelation of until the Yesha Miti to re reveal the essence of of what true reality is, the essence of God, it comes by means of I am to my beloved, the service of Yesha Nivra. How can we reveal godliness only in this actual physical world with its all interrelationships and problems and things like that? That's where the essence of God is revealed, not up in the upper worlds in heaven. The essence of God is revealed in the yesh, in the physicality of this physical world. That's why the Holy Temple was a physical building. Shemitzar Atzmo, then on its own, in the beginning of service of God, <clears throat> you start from little by little, from below to above. You, that's like in the prayers in the morning. There's some Sephardic prayer books where it starts off and says, this is the prayer up to Brook Shalmar is prayer of Asiya, from Brook Shalmar until uh, Boruch is Yetzira, the blessings of Shmar al and Shma al Bria, and Shmon Esra is Atzilut, going from below to above. That's wonderful, little by little. But afterwards, <clears throat> by means of this, you come to the level, by, and by means of this, that Ani Ladodi, I give myself over to God, little by little, from below to above, as this comes afterwards, the service of Dodi Li. That God comes to me. What does it mean? That God gives blessings from above to below, at Silus, Bria, from the higher worlds down to the lower worlds. This reveals godliness, which is above the entire creation, and it reveals it also in the Ani. Until it becomes one word, until the Ani, who is the real me, is Dodili is the godliness which comes to me. Call Mokom Shunei Amar Li, any place where it says Li, it never moves. Enu Zuz. She, uh, the Li, the true self of a person, becomes Yesha Miti, becomes the self of God. Benitzchi. Now, we, there are examples of people that were like this. Who were examples? The true, two most outstanding examples were Moses and King David. Right? These were people that did not just, uh, how do you say, remove themselves from the world and hid away in some cave or something for the rest of everybody came to them. These were people that there was not one second of their life that wasn't filled with action. It says that King David never slept. He slept a little bit every night. He was always working. When God is revealed in a person, a person becomes a godly person, then that person becomes dynamic, super active. <clears throat> each person in his own way. Right? Each person in his own way. Not everybody is like King David fighting battles or, or Moses go, you know, re going up in the Mount Sinai and taking the Jews through the desert. Right? There were big tzaddikim that they just... But here you take an example, the Lubavitcher Rebbe. Lubavitcher Rebbe, he never had a moment of, of rest. He answered hundreds of letters every day. and let, uh, Other great tzaddikim, also the same thing. The Baba Sali, other people, they were always learning, always doing, always meeting with people, always 
constantly active. That's what it means, yesh emiti. The true essence of God is revealed in the dynamics of this physical world. Like in the Holy Temple, what was the Holy Temple? You went in there, it was quiet. No, what were you talking about? They were slaughtering animals and there was fire burning and there was singing going on. There was people always filling the place up and they were sprinkling the blood and burning the animals. It was action all the time. Above any limitations of time and place of the creation, <clears throat> that that is either heaven or earth. So now from this we can understand the main point that there has to be in what type of self evaluation you should make in the month of Elul. And what are what is a self the proper evaluation that you should make on yourself in the whole all the rest of the year has to be in three things. Number one how does a Jew how did I serve my service of Ani Ladodi? Am I really striving to do more for the Creator? What did I really sink into serving God from below to above? When I was tired, I, 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 I'm sorry, I have to push off. Five more minutes, please. Five more minutes, okay? I'm sorry to push off, okay? Five more minutes. Call me up. Thank you. Five, can you just five more minutes? Is that all right? I'm just finishing this class. Five minutes. Thanks. Uh, how much is it? Number two. In addition to that, a Jew has to not ever be satisfied with what he's done from below to above, but he always has to think, am I serving from above to below, jumping over all my problems? And number three, in addition to this, a person has to join the two things together. Just like by means of this, a Jew does this proper calculation in regarding to serving his own service, as also he has to make it regarding to the world. How much have I really changed the world? Like the Rambam says that one by means of one commandment that you can change yourself and the whole world to the side of good. And now let's just learn the Yom Yom. Here we go. Those who dab with four pairs of tefillin, you do like this. You put on the Rashi tefillin, hand and head. And then you say, etc., etc. You pray. Then you take off the Rashi to fill in the head, and you put on the Shmushe Rabbah. And you say Shema. The head. Then, after that, you, okay, you can see the others. What you do? I'm waiting for this phone call. Some people would also learn the 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 portion of Tehillim with the commentaries of Rashi. Okay. Then you take off your to fill in. You put on Rabbeinu Tam to fill in. You say Shema, then you re, you learn a portion of Mishnah. You take off the head tefillin of Rabbeinu Tam, and you put on the tefillin of the Ravad. There's four types of tefillin, but only only differences are the head tefillin. Rashi and Rabbeinu Tam, the head and the arm are different, but the the tefillin of the Ravad. That's the you take off the head tefillin of Rabbeinu Tam and put that on. And the tefillin of the Shmusha Rabbah, that's all that is a you put on a different tefillin for the head of Rashi. That's what it says. Okay, have a good day with Mashiach now. God willing, three o'clock, we'll meet again.